go. Three, two, one, go. Three. Oh, it already started. Hi, my name is Larry Wilcox, and I am the creator and founder of Turning Up Motivational Speaking, which has only a small bit to do with this. Well, actually, it has a major bit. I created this course called The Equalizer. It used to be called The Five Equalizer, but hey, let's not worry about that. Welcome to The Equalizer course. The Equalizer course is a course that is uh, grade school, is for grade school students. Um, this course is designed to help them reach their optimum level of success. And the triggering for this course is, was based on the fact that I grew up in an environment where I had to overcome a lot of limitations and barriers. And based on the people that influenced me, based on the people that I hung around, how I spent my time, it was the determining factor um, to where I am today. Successful with um, about to complete my third college degree, eight years served in the military, have a good job, and things of that nature. So I wanted to give that same gift that was given to me, and that gift is mentorship. And by giving them mentorship, I give them ideas and tools that they can use to evaluate their life, to manage their time better, set goals and meet, reach goals, find accountability partners, and things of that nature. So this is my welcoming page. Here's a video that I created. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And that's, of course, my brand, Turn It Up Motivational Speaking, Turn Up Motivational Speaking. Here's this, um, a somatic version of how I touched on some of the things that I will be going over. Overcoming limitations and barriers by changing your influencers, make plans by reaching your life goals, value education as a stepping stone to your life goals, develop strategies, accountability um, of achieving goals, use apps to maximize your time. So this here is the welcome. And then a structure, the instructor profile I changed up a little bit because I had a suit on. And of course, this is a course for children or kids or youth, teenagers. So I got a little bit, uh, I got a picture that was a little bit more, um, showed a little bit more character, a little bit more receptive to the kids. This is a picture of me going to Miami with my wife um, for a vacation. So I liked it, that picture. So I put it in there because I look cool with my turned up motivational speaking stuff on. And this is just the background of me and where I'm at in my life and why I created the course and things of that nature to allow the kids. Now this is a hybrid course so kids will have the in-classroom portion and they also will have the um, online portion. Here's the expectations that I created for the student as well as the instructor. Pretty uh, cut and dry to participate in all activities, to be on time in each class, be respectful, things of that nature. For, for the instructor, for myself, provide inspiration because that's what I do. Um, take all questions seriously, of course. Be open-minded when conducting open discussions, etc. So this is my course expectations. Moving on to module one. Here's I have a pre-assessment uh, survey. In this survey, it's just asking kids their name, their um, ethical, uh, their race, um, school they go to, what they look to get out of the program, things of that nature. Now, here's envisioning your goals. So you have to envision your goals before you start to take steps towards them. And this is the triggering uh, effect of that. Do you have goals? Yes, I have goals. Now that would trigger all of these other things by envisioning what are your goals? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Value your edu valuing education as a stepping stone because education can take you further than it would if you didn't have the education. Overcoming limitations and barriers. Now that's a big one because from the background that I came from, there are a lot of limitations and barriers 
I had a lot of academic uh, disabilities and struggles growing up. Uh, it was a lot of violence and uh, drugs in my neighborhood, gangs and things of that nature. So I had a lot of different um, limitations and barriers that I had to overcome. And of course, I'm here today um, because I overcame them. Here's a video. So here's just a, a that was just a brief um, speech that I gave um, pertaining to my class, um, but it was very influential in my opinion to motivate people to have an understanding that you have to plan for where you're going in your life. So that's a very key aspect in envisioning your goals. So the introduction and vision for your future that's just another um, open discussion for online. I already placed one in there, one of the threads just to get them started, to get an idea. Pretty much tells a little bit about myself, what I love to do, sports, watching sports, playing sports. Um, actually, the Browns game one right now, and uh, I decided to be the responsible person to get my homework in so I don't fall behind. So um, those are just some things that I left for the kids to get a little bit of understanding, and then they'll follow behind and can reply to me, ask me questions, or leave their information, uh, leave their post, and then I ask questions or you know get to know them a little bit better in that method. So. Um, that was another form that I chose as well. Of course, with these module one and two, I use the cognitive presence, which is like a worksheet that I use to identify four different things, the triggering event, the exploration, the integration, and the resolution. So it kind of touches on the, the, uh, the four things that you need to touch on when you're, when you're carrying out a learning process or you're teaching. Um, so you have to have that that sort of cognitive presence in a sense. So that's how I try to develop my course to the best of my ability. So here's an open lecture. It could have some little social um, social exploration in there with um, identifying limitations and barriers, as well as the in class open discussion about what's your goals, how important is uh, education to you, just to get a little bit better on the social aspect, and then we can start integrating um, in positive influencers accountability partners and tools and then as a resolution we'll have um, in this one a mission statement to something that they can have as far as morals and values to stand true to themselves to help them um, reach their goals to remind them exactly what it is so that's my module one that has all um, the, the four cognitive uh, presences and now I'll move on to two to uh, run a little bit short on time uh, module two is uh, for strategies and success. So understanding success is the trigger and the strategies is what's going to get you there. So the, the strategies can be anything from the accountability partner like we spoke about before, integrating tools. I use applications on my phone, reminders, calendars. Um, should I, even, I even use calculators, but I, I don't think it really pertains to it. I just thought I would say that. But I use my phone for everything. But mainly, I use my scheduler. My um, I, I use my reminder now more because I normally would just use my notepad. But on the iPhone, you can just request, "Hey, remind me to do so and so." Versus writing it down on my notepad and having to go look, it'll give me an alert and the reminder, and I don't have to go look um, so often. So I can continue on with my day. So those are some tools that I use. Definitely use accountability partners. Um, here in this one, you'll see a video. Now this video, very, very, this is a real scene now, and my wife said, it looks like it's fake. But as you can see, people are driving around. Actually, a guy's going to walk past, and I'm trying to hide him with my head. But I was, I posted this video because I always had dreamed to travel outside of the military on my own funds. So I had to figure out ways to save money to be able to do these different things. And I shot this video as a clear example of me being able, of me planning and achieving something that I wanted to achieve by traveling to Miami 
of course I'm out of the military now so this is something that I use to get the kids motivated on you can accomplish anything with me being coming from their their background so um, that would be something to integrate with them or uh, yeah integrate with them here's the open discussion how much do you spend with your friends managing your time and stuff like that so this is more of a social thing the lecture as well implementing strategies so resolutions um, to add to your life to help put everything in perspective in place now I come down to implementing strategies and things of that nature um, which is another great thing I also have a video for that and this video talks about the tools that I use as I just discussed about how I use my phone and this is what it talks about so you can use applications like notepads computers watches to, to manage your time and things of that nature so you figure out in this course you'll find out the different um, tools we use it'll give you an idea and then you can uh, implement your own I your do your own um, exploration and then put implement your own tools so my final project on here would be the uh, timeline vision board not just a regular vision board because people have vision boards and sometimes it takes them a little longer than they uh, anticipate to accomplish their their um, their goals so I put a timeline on it so that way you can see your progress with milestones say okay in six months I said I'm gonna do this I did it and if you did then good if you did just keep working on it so don't get discouraged but this is a um, six-step program with the video that tells you all the material and everything you need to make it talks about um, everything you need to make it now at the bottom it has a uh, final project rubric so to bring it to a conclusion um, innovation and in technology has come so far along you have a lot of students that are so educated from being homeschooled and now you have this innovation with because of technology that you have the ability to do uh, hybrid courses which is in and outside of classrooms as well as accelerated courses which courses are condensed into lesser time to get um, your stuff accomplished to each his own when it comes to choosing which program is best for you I chose the online accelerated program because that's just something I wanted to do I've taken uh, two years of college for my associate's degree in class and I, I enjoyed it because it was a lot of social presence with the peers as well as the instructors and it's not so much but they're starting to implement different things such as chatting emails screen casting such as this and different things like that that allows you to be able to bring in that social presence Google Docs that allows everyone to um, integrate different ideas with each other um, as well as tons of exploration tons of uh, implementations and things of that nature so um, triggering events based on assignment and schoolwork and things like that so I uh, I'm really happy that this is offered to me because I'm a, I have a family I have a full-time job and I'm running my business in which I created this program to support that business so online schools is the way to go to me I highly recommend it um, uh, also the different designs and how I lined out uh, my course hopefully I, I answered a lot of the questions that need to be answered because I'm running short on time with my video I was trying to hurry up and go through it is just so much I'm just looking at um, the criteria to make sure that I, that I discovered everything. But like I said, this class will give you a roundabout of how you can achieve your level of success if you manage your time. I actually I'm doing a, a class here on the 15th of September 2018 where it's it, it, the, the theme is skate to success, but I close it out with saying, do you have a winning percentage? So what I mean by mean by that, excuse me, is do you have more positive things in your life than negative things? And if you have seven, if you have ten things in your life and seven of them are positive and three negative, then you have a seventy percent uh, um, winning phase. Um, so that's a you know how the the seventy percent winning phase, a winning percentage, excuse me. If you have fifty percent negative, fifty percent positive, then you have a fifty percent winning. Uh, percentage and you have to make adjustments if you're really trying to win in life so as my video comes to conclusion I enjoyed this course thank you so much um, for allowing me to take this course I learned so much in this class can't wait to go to the next class so I can teach my course thank you so much my name is Larry Wilcox and take care